Today, we have a very hot topic, peppers, and we are asking these questions. What are chili peppers? What do peppers have that are so beneficial to our health? What effects do they have in our bodies? And what is the recommended amount to consume for maximum health benefits? And stick around until the end of the video for a bonus tip on how to pick the healthiest peppers. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, a board certified cardiologist heart patient myself. Let's dive in. Where are chili peppers? Peppers are a popular vegetable that comes in various colors, including red, yellow, green, and oranges. And they are not only delicious, but they packed with numerous health benefits. So they belong to a genus called capsicum. And it's actually a berry, it's actually a fruit. It's native of South America and Central America. The Portuguese traders, my ancestors in the 15th and 16th century took to Europe and then to Asia and to India. Peppers have been part of the human diet for thousands of years. How do you measure the heat of pepper? There is a scale called the Scoville Heat Scale, ranging from the super hot Carolina Reaper to the mild bell peppers. And here are some common peppers, bell peppers with really no heat, uh, jalapenos 3,500 to 10,000 Scoville units, uh, Habaneros, 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville uh, scale. Let's address the question with you. What do peppers have that are so beneficial to our health? Peppers are rich in essential nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and other antioxidants. One of the most notable nutrients found in peppers is vitamin C. In fact, red bell peppers contains more vitamin C than oranges. And the vitamin C in peppers boosts the immune system, helping us fight infections and promotes absorption of iron in the gut, uh, minimizing the risk of having an iron deficiency anemia. And vitamin C plays an important role in uh, healing, in collagen production, uh, is essential for our uh, healthy skin, uh, for blood vessels and connective tissue. In addition, the vitamin C peppers uh, are excellent source of vitamin A, which is vital to maintaining a healthy vision and preventing uh, night blindness. And peppers have a substance called capsaicin. Uh, that's the chemical compound that gives you the heat, the burning sensation. But they have other components. They have uh, capsaicinoids and they have carotenoids and other phytochemicals. And the antioxidants in peppers uh, help neutralize free radicals in the body, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. And they even have fiber uh, adding to bulk to the stools, preventing constipation and uh, maintaining a healthy gut. What effects do peppers have in our bodies? They decrease your appetite, they increase your satiety, so they're going to decrease your caloric intake and have an effect on abdominal fat and obesity. People who season uh, their food with peppers also tend to use the less salt, beneficial for your blood pressure. And they improve a response to insulin and they reduce oxidation of uh, the, the cholesterol and they are uh, antiplatelet, they have a blood thinning effect and improve the endothelial function, the inner layer on our artery walls. And here are the physiological effects of peppers. They are uh, antioxidants, they are anti-obesity, they are anti-inflammatory, they are anti-cancer, they uh, are antimicrobial, they improve your insulin resistance, they are anti-diabetic, and they lower your blood pressure. And to learn more about high blood pressure, watch this video, Top seven ways to lower your blood pressure naturally without medication. I'll put a link above and on the description uh, below. And let's talk about other health benefits. A study then in Italy called the Molly Sani study, where they followed 22,000 uh, Italians for eight years, found that eating chili peppers four or more times a week 
uh, reduce uh, all-cause mortality, they reduce cardiovascular mortality, they lower ischemic heart disease mortality, and they cut stroke mortality by a whopping 61%. And it's not merely one study. There's another study done in China that followed 500,000 people for over seven years and found similar results. And a third study just published last year in 2023 in the International Journal for Vitamin and Nutrition Research, uh, involving again more than half a million people, showed that chili peppers reduce the risk of cardiovascular mortality, uh, cancer mortality, and the total uh, mortality. And these are obviously observational studies. We have to take them with a grain of salt. But all the data points on the same direction. Question number four, what's the recommended amount to consume for maximum health benefits? Uh, in the Italian study, they looked at people who uh, had chili peppers four or more times a week. And the Chinese study, they looked at people who ate chili peppers seven or more times a week. And you want to include a variety of uh, colored peppers in your diet, ensuring that you get a, a wide range of nutrients and antioxidants. And here's the bonus tip I promised you on shopping for the healthiest peppers. Fresh peppers are absolutely the best. The second best are dry peppers, and the hot sources are the least healthy. So heart disease continues to be a number one killer, and more than half of those deaths are sudden, happen within 24 hours. And addressing the classical risk factors, the high blood pressure, the diabetes, the high cholesterol, not smoking, are very important, but are not enough. And eating chili peppers four or more times a week decreases your total cardiovascular mortality, cerebrovascular mortality, and your overall mortality. If you want to learn more other ways to prevent heart disease or know what to do if you suspect you're having a heart attack, watch this video, Top Warning Signs You're Having a Heart Attack. I'll put the link above in the description below. And remember your health, you must preach as a set, uh, take control. Let's spice it up. See you next video. Don't forget to subscribe, write a comment, and share with your family and friends.